Hey guys, Adrian Unknown, happy 420. Yeah, yeah. To celebrate, I'm out here on the lake. Which lake? One of the bigger lakes here in New Mexico. Told you I was gonna bring it out here. We got some kids, we got my kayaks. Those are both my kayaks. And we've got my boat right here. This is my little boat, my little river scooter. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna boogie. I've got a 34 pound thrust motor. Let's get to work, boys. Stuff away right quick. Put that right there. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Get it in the water though. Okay, we're about knee deep, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and get into my boat. Get my motor down. Like so. Let's go. Off into the distance. Give us some juice. Yeah, let's go fish over there in those trees. Check this place out, guys. As you can see, it's not that deep right here. These are some treetops. You see that carp jump over there? Oh, cool, huh? Go, there we go. Let's get out here deep enough. Again, this is one of the bigger lakes here in New Mexico, especially in my area. I'm gonna sit up right over here. Awesome. Beautiful camping spot, guys. Absolutely love it here. I'm out here far enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss my anchor out. Yeet! Oh, it's really not that deep, but it's perfect for me. Awesome. Okay, it's off, off position. Let's get to work, boys and girls. What do we have here? So on the table are some night crawlers and some red worms. Let's do this one first. The way that I'm going to set this one up, as you can see, I have three swivels here, okay? At the very bottom, I'm going to set up my weight, which is one of these that I made. It's an egg weight and I made it a stationary thing with some metal wire as you can see. Okay, next what we want to do is set up our hooks. Here's my wooden chop table for whatever I might catch. So let's see what kind of hooks we're going to throw right there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's do a regular small one. 
this is a number four i think or number one and this one's gonna go on the bottom this is just in case we catch a catfish or something okay and then we're gonna go with a different size hook for the top we want a smaller one that's like carp friendly i guess that way if i catch something smaller like it's still a strong hook but it's not as big look the black octopus hook i like these things a lot so we got two different size worms we're gonna get two different size hooks and put them out there the one on the bottom is gonna get uh one of these night crawlers gonna hook him like this okay right through through again through again just a couple times like so okay and this is gonna rest on the bottom and this is gonna do the work up top next we're gonna get one of these red worms the big red worms let's get two of them put them both to work and we're going to put these here on this hook I hate that noise when the wind goes past your your string like that it makes that sound I don't like it All right guys, we have the first rod set up. Again, this is my system. The weight stays on the bottom and then these two, they stay up high, okay? One down low and one up a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and put this in my rod holder. Let's toss out right over here. Seems like a good spot. Boom, right there. Go ahead and put my, my bell on. indicator bell and then put this back in here like so oh, you're fucking kidding me what the hell is wrong give me a second my line seems to be not working very well okay put that back into here like so. Reel in a little bit. There we go. Boom. Put these right here. With my next setup, I want to go for white bass or something. So let's go with this one. This is my bait caster. Go with the oh. Let's see what we have. Let's go with the little bluegill. You guys still with me? Awesome. Hey, it's about to end, so 